spirit by carrying out an experiment using my favorite holiday treat, candy canes. In this experiment, we are going to be practicing our prediction and observational skills while also having some fun. We will be testing which liquid dissolves the candy canes the fastest while also discussing what causes candy canes to dissolve. Before we begin, we need to gather all of our materials for the experiment. You're going to need four full-size candy canes, four glass jars, I recycled these from pasta jars. You're also going to need four different types of liquids. Here I'm using hot water, cold water, vinegar, and oil. If you don't have those, you can use any of the liquids you find in your house as long as they're safe. You're also going to need a printed worksheet that we have on our website, or you can just draw the table from the worksheet into your notebook. Finally, you're going to need something to write with and a stopwatch. You can use your phone like Wally is, or an actual stopwatch. Before we begin the experiment, we first need to predict what is going to happen. Write your prediction in the form of a sentence at the top of your paper. For example, I predict that the hot water will dissolve the candy cane fastest because I have put a candy cane in my hot chocolate before and that dissolved it very quickly. Now it's time to begin the experiment. First, place your jars in a row on a flat surface. Then unwrap your candy canes and prepare your timer. To avoid missing out on fun observations, I would suggest doing one jar at a time. I'm going to do all four jars at once for the sake of time in this video. Once your candy canes are unwrapped, your jars are filled, and your timer is ready, go ahead and put your candy canes into the liquids and start observing what happens. You may notice immediately that your candy canes begin to dissolve in some liquids and others it doesn't. Stop your timer at the one minute, two minute, and five minute marks to record your observations on your chart. There are several things that you may observe take place. For example, I observed that my candy cane lost its red coloring very quickly in every liquid except for the oil. I also noticed that as soon as I put them into the liquids, they began to bubble up and dissolve almost immediately. Now that our experiment is finished, we can compare our results to our predictions. Did your results match your predictions? After watching those candy canes fizzle out, I'm sure you're wondering what causes that reaction to take place. The answer is sucrose, also known as sugar. Sucrose molecules are what makes up the candy cane and gives it its shape. Sucrose molecules are binded together very tightly, but when they're exposed to liquids, those molecules begin to break down, especially if they're put into a warmer liquid like the hot water that we use. This is because the hot water, its molecules, are moving quicker and they have a lot of thermal energy. So when you expose those sucrose molecules to the hot water, they begin to break down. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something fun and new today. Be sure to like, subscribe, and if you want more information about Caesar, go to our website, which is listed in the description below.